what's going on NGT community, it's Guns Rar from Next Gen Tactics and I have some news that likely if you're a console gamer you probably haven't heard and if you're a PC gamer you probably have heard and are not too happy about it. The rumor is that Blizzard Entertainment, uh, makers of Starcraft, uh, World of Warcraft uh, and Diablo are looking into the possibility of porting Diablo onto consoles. Now, for those of you that don't know Diablo, uh, well, look up Diablo 2, look up gameplay and all that sort of stuff. You can see Diablo 3 uh, game trailers and stuff like that, but it's it's easier to take a look at the actual gameplay of Diablo 2 to really get an idea of what the game is like. So if you, if you YouTube that, you can find lots of stuff. It's basically uh, an action-adventure, uh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, action-adventure type uh, RPG. So it's a hack-and-slash type thing. It's not like your typical Final Fantasy where you come up across you know, an evil horde and then you have to choose what you're going to do and you're going to attack and you're going to parry and you're going to do this spell and do that spell. It's actually going on as you're actually fighting them. So it's, it's a dungeon kind of scrolling type of RPG. Uh, Diablo 2, I believe, was put out in 2000. Now, this has historically always and only been a PC game. And I believe that Blizzard Entertainment themselves have historically only done um, PC games because they feel, I think it's uh, something to do with the, the ease, like how easy they can do updates and patches and all that sort of stuff there. They've typically stayed away from consoles because I don't think they like them very much. And I'm, I think the PC gaming community likes them for not liking them <laughs> so much. But it, it seems that in the, in the recent uh, DICE Summit, which is uh, Design, Innovate, Communicate, and Entertain uh, for 2011, an executive from Blizzard uh, basically said that they were looking into the possibility of porting the game to consoles. Now, they didn't say what consoles, uh, but you can be guaranteed if it's going to be on on at least one, it's going to be Xbox 360. I mean, you can guarantee it. I mean, if you look at it from a business standpoint, it's going to be Xbox 360. But, uh, you know, PS3, of course, is capable as well. Now, there's two uh, aspects to this that I'm going to discuss in this because I know there's going to be a lot of uh, more or less hesitation on the PC gaming community. So if you're a PC gamer out there, you're probably going, no way. No, 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 you are not porting this game, you are not putting it onto consoles. Um, I mean, the same as, you know, there's Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii fanboys all fighting each other. The PC community is is the same. I'm sorry, but you're in the same category. There's still fanboys. I, I look at it as a gaming community, but that's in a like, oh, we're all you know, those flowers everywhere and we're all friends. It doesn't happen. So PC gamers typically don't like mixing with console gamers. Console gamers are busy fighting into themselves. Anyway, the game, um, and I read a lot of comments too. I know a lot of PC gamers are hesitant about this. They're not very happy about this rumor. But my question is why? If you're a PC gamer, why is it that you don't want to see Diablo go over to consoles? If they don't touch the way that Diablo is made, and your experience for Diablo 3 is going to be the same, why would you care what's going on in other consoles? Who really cares? You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't see why it would matter that PS3 or Xbox or whatever, we are playing the same game on a different system. Not intermingling with you, because there's no, you know, online we don't play cross, cross uh, consoles or cross platforms, rather. So why really care? I am curious. Put your comments down. I want to know why, as a PC gamer, you don't want to see Diablo 3 or really any of the, the uh, I mean, because they rumored, uh, what is it, StarCraft, I can't remember, it was a third-person shooter game that they were actually developing for the purpose of consoles. So they had already actually looked into it, and that, that's been shelved and pretty much canceled. I know they, they said it's indefinitely sort of shelved, but, I mean, it's pretty much canceled. Anyway, they were looking at StarCraft before to put it on the consoles, and now they're looking at Diablo. But why is it that you don't want it on there? Now, there's two aspects that I can take a look at this, and if you're a console gamer, definitely take a look at some of the uh, Diablo 2 gameplay footage, the videos, to get an idea. Okay, so it's an RPG. Believe me, as a, as a console gamer, I would absolutely love to see this game on a console, and I'll tell you why. Number one, because we don't have a lot of, I'm not saying there aren't any, but we don't have a lot of high-quality RPG games for consoles nowadays. And a game like uh, Diablo would blow us all away. 
It would be... This is a game... I think Diablo 2 was made in... I'm going to be wrong. I believe it was released in 2000. And this is typical for PC games. They don't release them year, you know, every single year, the next one, or next one, or next one, or next one. They actually take a lot of time and a lot of effort to make sure what they're releasing is absolutely high quality. Look at StarCraft. <laughs> They've taken, what was it, 15, was it 13 or 15 years to put out StarCraft 2? This is not something that they rush into. They release it and they make sure they give expansion packs and they nurse it and they make sure that the community absolutely loves what they've actually created. And they will put in all their time and effort over years to make sure that that community is just absolutely dedicated to it. And that's actually really smart. There's different ways of looking at it. So they're putting out Diablo 3 now and that's what, what the hell is it, 11 years later? I'm awesome at math. 11 years later, they're going to put out Diablo 3. I'm excited for it because this is a highly polished game. In a world of console games when games are put out year after year, after year, after year, and it's very, very thin experience because it's nothing really changes too much, you're talking about a game where the experience is meant to last you years. You're not going to get bored of this game like that. You're going to actually want to play this year after year. And I'm excited for something like that. And yes, I know as a PC gamer, I can hear you already. I don't even need to read any of your comments, but I can hear you. If you want to play a game like that, get a PC. Play on the PC. Well, I am not a PC gamer. It's not going to happen. At the same time, I'm just a gamer. This is what I play on. I play on the Xbox. I play on the PS3. And I wouldn't mind a game like that to come to that console. I'm a comfortable... I've been a console gamer for over 28 years. Longer than most of you PC gamers. Longer than most of you PC gamers have been alive. I've been a console gamer. It's just the path that I've chosen. But I'm a gamer. I don't hate anyone. I just happen to like what I play on that, on that platform. But I would love to see Diablo 3 come to Xbox or PlayStation 3. I don't have... Well, I have a Wii, but it's upstairs and I don't ever use it. Sorry, Wii guys and gals. It's just reality. But if you're a console gamer... Do you know this game? Are you aware of it? If not, definitely take a look at some gameplay footage of that. Uh, you should be excited about this. Believe me, if this comes to console, this will be an amazing step for console gamers. Now, here's two things that I think PC gamers are worried about. If it ports to uh, console games, are they going to potentially take away from the experience? Are they going to potentially sort of more or less dumb down the experience so that it can be properly ported over? See, with a PC gaming world, they can create, you know, multiple discs that are simply uploaded to your hard drive, and the experience is, is flawless. The graphics tend to be better, the audio is better, the experience... Basically, on a PC, you can have a game that no console, more or less, can actually run. So I think maybe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if the PC gaming community tends to be worried for something like this that if they start porting these games, that the next version will be dumbed down a lot. So the PC version will get, will suffer. Now there is a solution to this, but again, you cause a rift and likely it's not going to happen because of basic numbers, marketing numbers, but you could put that game onto a PS3. And the only reason why I'm saying that is not necessarily that the PS3 is capable of way better graphics than the Xbox 360, uh, or anything like that, it's simply a matter of the actual Blu-ray disc. The, the fact that it can hold up to, uh, I believe it's 50 gigabytes on a dual layer. So there's no reason that no matter how big and complex, because I mean, I look at games like Metal Gear Solid 4, I look at Uncharted 2 and the Uncharted 3 coming out, and you're talking about those games and the reason why they blow our minds when you actually look at them is because they actually use you know, that much storage. They can actually create games beyond what is capable of a, a Wii or an Xbox, simply because of storage capacity. You know, so there's that possibility there. But because of the lack of, you know, number of gamers, I mean, Xbox has way more gamers on there. I don't see them doing that. So, as I said, leave your comments. If you're a PC gamer, I want to know, what are you scared of? Why do you not want this to be there? Or do you not care? Do you think, well, who cares? Let them have it. Just don't screw up my version. Or if you're a console gamer, do you know this? Are you, you know, is this something that excites you? I mean, as a console gamer, I'm aware of this game. I've seen a lot of it, a lot of footage of it, 
And personally, I am excited, and I hope to God that they do do it, but that's just my opinion. I'm guns for hire. Curious about your opinion, though. Peace. Thanks for watching. Whether it's positive or negative, please comment and rate the video. Help us improve. Hey guys, we're on Netflix! Okay, well we're not on Netflix, but we are officially sponsored by them now. Thousands of movies and TV shows available every day at the click of a button. For a free one month trial membership, simply click on the link in the description, courtesy of NextGen Tactics. Yeah, you're welcome.